Hey everybody, Vinny back, uh, Thick Skinned RC, and i um, here to do the uh, first run follow-up on the uh, Bronco that I uh, did the unboxing for. Wanted to uh, do some comparisons between the Bronco and the uh, Defender chassis. So impressions on it, really great. I mean, it's really good. Um, much better than the Defender. Um, and it... <clears throat> There's, there's a few factors there that I'll talk about, um, but uh, one of the bigger ones is the just the difference in uh, the lighter body. Uh, the Defender body was pretty heavy, um, and this one doesn't have nearly the, uh, uh, you know, no roof rack, no cage on it, so it's much, much lighter. Um, it also doesn't have one of the things we'll talk about. Um, obviously, this is not the Defender body. This is... But uh, one of the things we will I'll show you is just the uh, one of the bigger differences uh, in the body itself is uh, this body you'll see <clears throat> does not have the uh, fender wells attached to it. They're on the chassis, whereas with the Defender they're on the body. And you can see that requires all sorts of extra plastic cross bracing. There was bracing to hold the spare tire carrier. Um, so it's just a much different. I wish I could weigh it, but the Defender body has a bunch of LED lights, so it really wouldn't be accurate anyway, so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, but just take my word for it, much, much lighter body. Um, uh, when I took this out, the only modification I did... Um, show you otherwise it's bone stock is the thick skinned uh, license plates on there had to do that that's a requirement um, so got that put on there uh, took it out and like I said ran really really well did a great job um, kept up with a modded uh, SEX 10 2 really well um, couple of things that uh, held it up uh, the rear hitch does hang a little low so it does get caught on a few things not that big of a deal you just pull it off uh, you know just drag it off the rock not a big problem um, that would happen in real life anyway so at the end of the day it's pretty scale um, as far as the body is concerned uh, like I said much lighter but uh, it does have you know in the uh, unboxing I wasn't quite sure if it had the ability to put some LEDs in it it does not only does it have the ability to do the front and rear, but it's got these side markers on it, uh, the red and the orange or amber up front. Traxxas is also coming out with um, a rear tire for this and a um, bull bar on the front, the chrome bull bar that looks really cool. Um, so I'll probably pick up both of those accessories. They're not available yet, but they do have them listed on the website. Um, if you look at, I believe it's the section under scale parts is where that's located, and uh, they have they actually have the part numbers listed already, um, but they're just not available for sale yet. One of the other things is the wheelbase. Um, the Defender is 12.8 like that. Um, the Bronco is 12.3, so it's about a half, half inch shorter. Um, let me show you that. Yes, I do have the red one as well, in case you didn't notice. Uh, to be honest, I took that one out. I loved it so much, I went and got another one. Judge me if you want, I don't care. Um, so, let me line these up. see the fronts lined up get to the back about a half inch different it's a pretty big deal um, it really helps a bunch um, gets uh, gets around tight spaces better is able to make tighter corners um, so it was it's, it's a uh, that was a nice change uh, at the end of the day you'll see that you know the changes are pretty subtle you know, it's not, nothing too drastic um, but they were real smart. They were really smart. Um, not only, you know, we talked about the wheelbase, the, the center of gravity is much lower now with the lighter body. But another thing that they did here 
is they did this little battery tray up front. So instead of putting a battery back here in the main compartment, you can put one up front, a little shorty lipo will fit in there. They've got the holes for the Velcro straps and everything. Um, that'll get you some weight up front. So that was smart, take some weight off uh, up high in the middle of the truck. Um, so I do not have any shorty lipos yet in my possession, but that will happen because I'm gonna take advantage of that being there. It may mean I have to carry a couple of extra batteries in my pocket if I'm gonna go on long runs, but you know what, at the end of the day, um, it'll be worth it. I talked about the one uh, main uh, real drawback, and really it's it's hard to call it a drawback, is the, uh, the, the hitch here. You can see uh, it's already gotten pretty scratched up. Um, from the first run, uh, it does get, you know, as the back end is coming down off of stuff, it does get hung up once in a while. Uh, I didn't really find it that big of a problem, um, but at the end of the day, you know, if you do, you could always just yank that off. As far as the chassis is concerned, I talked about the wheelbase being different. Um, the wheelbase is different, but if you look at the center of the truck here, you know, everything in the center is the same. Obviously, I have a different battery tray in here, but uh, motor is in the same spot. Um, the the uh, ESC, the servos, the uh, receiver, everything. Let me turn this the same way you can see. Uh, everything's laid out exactly the same in the center of the truck here. The wheelbase is different. And obviously, you see the fender wells attached to the truck on the new Bronco. Um, was really impressed with it. Got a second one. I also have the chassis kit that I'm going to build. Um, that uh, will happen probably later on the summer. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, taking it out some more. I'm going to take it out some more uh, this weekend. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain on me and I get to take it out again. Um, and uh, I'll follow up some driving footage so you'll get to see it in action. Um, again, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. If you like the video, hit the like button, leave some comments. Uh, appreciate the feedback and uh, find us on Instagram at ThickSkinnedRC and we can also be found on Facebook, um, ThickSkinnedRC. There's a group and a page so you can find us there as well. So thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Yeah, don't mess it up now, you're almost done. There you go, get that big 